हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दी हाई वोल्टेज दिस इज वीडियो नंबर थ्री ए ऑफ ऑर्डिनो ट्यूटोरियल इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी टॉक अबाउट दी आई डी ई ऑफ ऑर्डिनो एंड आई एक्सप्लेन द फंक्शन ऑफ मैन्यू एंड द बटन ऑन द टूल बॉर्ड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी इंट्रोड्यूसिंग यू टू दिस सर्किट सिम्यूलेटर और प्रोटीएस विच इज नॉट द पार्ट ऑफ ऑर्डिनो ट्यूटोरियल That's why I am saying it. Video number three A. But I think I should give you a basic idea about circuit simulation, so you can simulate your Arduino projects. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is to download the Proteus. You can download the latest version from their official website, or I have uploaded it on my Blogspot. You can access my blogspot by clicking the link given in the description and then click on the Proteus and a new window will appear and from here you can download the Proteus and there is a file readme.txt which will guide you through the installation but still if you stuck somewhere you can comment below and ask me for help Once you have downloaded Proteus, open it. The objective of this tutorial is to help you simulate some of basic circuit, which will help you learn how to simulate the circuit. In the end of video, I will give you some examples. Try to solve them on your own, and let me know if you have done in comments. So now you can see that my Proteus window has been opened. and there are some portions this is getting started this is help about start news and there are some buttons on the toolbar and there are menus so we are not going into the deep so we will click on new project to create our new project we will give the name of our project as first or whatever you want to so give and select the path from here click next click next and here do not create a pcb layout no firmware project and then click finish now your desired window has been opened and you can see horizontal toolbar and a vertical toolbar with some buttons so in this tutorial we are going to simulate a simple rectifier circuit a simple rectifier consists of a resistor and a diode and a sinusoidal voltage source so the first thing we have to do is to select our components to do this you have to go in component mode and here select p now you can search the components you require for the project so uh, you can do it by writing their keywords like i will select resistor and to add this component in the devices you have to double click now diode and now voltage source we need a sinusoidal voltage source so we will click on this double click on this to add it in devices and now click okay now to draw your circuit just click on the component and then click on the window now wire your circuit by clicking from one component to another okay so you can see that our circuit has been completed but now we have to edit the properties of sinusoidal voltage source so, so we can give amplitude of our own wish so open the properties menu by double clicking on it and here you can find the amplitude 
and let's say we are giving the amplitude of 220 volt and a frequency of 50 hertz click ok now to see the result we need some instruments we may require a voltmeter or we may require a oscilloscope to add instrument you have to go in the instrument portion and here you can find all the instruments we will require a oscilloscope and we will require a AC voltmeter connect the positive of oscilloscope connect the positive of voltmeter with the positive terminal of battery and negative with the negative of battery this is to give you idea about how to use the instruments in Proteus now we will be connecting the A channel with the source and the B channel with the rectified signal now to see your result click on run to analyze the waves now here you can see that my waves have been appeared so I will set the volt per division so it can be visible this is time per division portion and below is the rectified Now here you can see that the yellow waveform is the wave of the voltage source and the blue is the rectified signal. So in this way we have simulated the circuit and this is what for this video. In the next video we will be writing our first sketch. Till then thank you for watching.